Welcome to the patch notes rundown for Valorant patch 4.11, the best format in Germany. This is a simple patch that creates a few bug fixes and doesn't really add something new. The only thing that is added new is our first point. In social updates, you now have a clutch mute button. You may have experienced this before. You are with random teammates, you are in a clutch situation, 1v3, and they say stuff. Maybe they're trolling you, maybe they're giving info that you already had, maybe they're giving wrong info, or maybe they're just distracting you in general. To do this, you go to settings, you go to controls, you go to communication, and there are two new points there you can set a keybind to mute your entire team or mute everyone except for your party teammates another bug fix is a jet super dash there are a few exploits you might have seen it on tiktok or youtube shorts of jet being in a position um, and being able to super dash across the entire map this has now been um, fixed at least the locations that the um, developers knew of the community is always going to try and find new positions where they can use this exploit but make no mistake the super dash is not something that riot intended to be in the game it is an exploit and you are not supposed to do that another bug fix that there is is euro's ult in some instances with certain weapon combinations euro was able to leave his ultimate and already shooting while he was still invisible to the enemy team. But again, like with the super dash, they only fixed those exploits that they knew of. And the community is going to try and find more combinations and more triggers to utilize this exploit. This patch, as you can see, is all about bug fixes. Next bug fix, um, there's a bug where Sky Seekers were not able to go through the shoot, as well as Fates Prowlers were not able to to go through the chute and they would like glitch inside and not go through the chute um, on the map breeze. <clears throat> that has been fixed. Sky Seekers now can go through the chute as well as the Prowler can now go down. There was also a bug that would make abilities disappear on your minimap like Viper's Toxin Screen, the Poison Cloud, uh, Killjoy's Nano Swarms, and Cypher's Cy uh, Cyber Cage. You were still able to use them, but you were not able to see them on your minimap anymore, which is kind of weird, especially as uh, for the players that are playing these agents, not knowing like where your your um, Toxin Screen is lying, or where your Nano Swarm is lying, can be um, irritating to say the least, especially Killjoy playing for a lineup, um, Viper's Toxin Screen using for an entry or Cypher Cyber Cage uh, used if in a defensive situation. Um, not having the info where your stuff is, um, is kind of irritating. Another fix is Sova's Trick Shot voiceover line um that now only plays when you kill an enemy with one or two bounces so Sova would say something to the amount of trick shot whenever he would kill an enemy with one or two bounces but he would also say that when you would hit and destroy util like for example a uh, tripwire or the killjoy ult for example this would give you and your team info that you were not intended to be uh, to get so that has been changed so you only get the info the trick shot voice line when you kill an enemy with one or two bounces not utility anymore only kills on enemy players lastly Riot is trying to fix a few things in deathmatch, like the spawn. Sometimes you would be like get a kill and right behind you, the enemy that you just killed would spawn behind you or you would die and you would spawn at the exact same spot again so that you died twice in the same spot. Um, they're trying to balance this out, but it's deathmatch. Honestly, this is like a comfort thing. Like if you have time, you can try and fix that. But like, honestly, it's deathmatch. Like most of us only use this to warm up um, and to try out like like certain weapons or something like that it's, it's not that important it, it, like this is a nice idea but like it's not really important
there's a few more things in the patch notes but i didn't think that they were that important they're mostly cosmetic stuff like there's a bug sky having like a weird pose when you're observing her in like in a game like okay yeah i get it but like it's it's not detrimental to the game you can read the patch notes uh i will link it down below what do you think about these bug fixes a lot of people have expressed their dismay that there's not more some people have asked like right what are you doing for all this money like we like we're waiting like two weeks for this patch which is really weak there's nothing new no new balancing and um yeah what do you think uh also what do you think about the clutch button i personally don't think that i will use it because you still have to press a button and how do you decide this is now a moment where i need to use the clutch button like it's it's like you're like just imagine you're like in the zone you're in a 1v4 or 1v3 and then you have like to press the button to clutch like you are deciding this is now a moment where i where i don't want the info from my team i i think it's a good idea especially if you have like annoying teammates but if you have annoying teammates you're gonna like you should mute them like anyways right like in my opinion you should mute them anyways i personally probably won't use the clutch button but i can imagine like there were a few friends of mine that said like they would want to have like this kind of clutch button i personally won't uh, use it um, tell me in the comments down below if you are going to use a clutch button. Uh, I would really, really like to know if you are going to use it. Other than that, it's my first time doing such a patch note rundown. Uh, if you have watched the video so far, thank you so much. Uh, leave a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel. I'm Tranly, and you guys are amazing. Keep grinding.